Hello, welcome to Cakes Egg. Lots of birds in the field now, which I love birds, so that's always fun. I'm coming up to my next corner, so I'll be slowing down just a little bit. I feel pretty comfortable at this speed, but you always want to make sure it's nicer to have additional time rather than to, to scare yourself by having too little. Oh, looks like it backed up a little bit. That was not good. So that's what I did with the drill last time and plugged it up. So I'm really just going to take a good look at my roller right now to make sure everything's still okay on it. Seems to be working well, although I really need to watch that I don't back it up next time. Now I'm increasing my speed back to about nine miles an hour. Uncle Chris said I could probably go eight to 10, so I thought a good in-between of nine would be nice. I kind of straightened my pass out a little bit more this time, so that's good. Unfortunately, I'll have to be stopping a little bit when I catch up to Darcy. He's only got maybe four more passes down in the drill away from me, but I would say that would probably be close to 10 laps for me. So I still have a little while, but I definitely will be catching him because he has to stop and refill with seed and fertilizer, and I am going a little bit faster than him, which a couple miles an hour doesn't you don't really notice that when you're just driving a car, but as a tractor in the field, it makes a substantial difference. Hopefully most of the rocks get pressed down. Darcy's back going again, so he must be all filled up. That was a little bit of a bump. The truck does seem to be parked pretty close to the road here, so I'm going to make sure that I don't hit it. That would be very bad. And that's the tandem truck that we use to fill the drills for seed. Aw, some more birds. It's really starting to become springtime, which is nice. Although, it was 70 degrees one day here in Montana, and then it was snowing the next. So, the weather really can change in an instant. It's very crazy. I'm going to go a little bit further to make sure I get this part rolled. And then probably start my turn now. The truck's on the other side of the road, so I'll be good. So I did better that time. Now I've got to the point where I've rolled this part, I believe. Yes. I've had to take a couple little detours in the field because I've seen some big rocks that weren't fully pressed down by the roller that I wanted to re-roll. But other than that, I've been doing pretty good, and I keep missing like a little sliver on my corner, kind of like I did in harrowing at the very end passes. So I also took a detour and just went straight across that to make sure there wasn't any rocks in there that I didn't properly roll. Those were some big rocks right there. You can kind of see where you've rolled. I find it gets a little more challenging though. I seem to be getting the hang of rolling. I've only backed up the roller on one turn, so that's pretty good. Even though you don't want to back up on any corners, one's all right as long as you don't do it again and again and again. Ooh, there's a massive rock here. So that got kind of rolled under. Ooh, it almost backed up, but it didn't. And I don't even think I missed any seated area there. No, I would say I did a pretty good job on that one. It's a lot easier going this direction to see the row for whatever reason than coming the other way. So right now I'm headed south, and I was just headed north. Darcy stopped again. He must be getting more seed. I'm really bad at driving in straight lines is what I found out today. And it's interesting to see that these really big rocks don't get pushed down even after two passes with the roller. So I definitely am looking throughout the field to make sure that there's not a big rock that needs to be rolled down. For example, coming up on this last pass, I did a little detour in the middle of the field, and then you just come back to your pass, because it's not like seeding where, oh, I missed this spot, go seed over there. I don't have guidance, and I'm just kind of eyeballing it, so if you see something, you're not going to be able to find that rock again, um, so I just do it now. It's actually a fairly nice day in Montana today. It's pretty windy, but it's nothing compared to yesterday 
when we had 50 mile per hour winds and actually the mountains are just over here west of us and it was 90 per mile hour winds there so it's just astronomical i and usually seeding isn't as intense as harvest so we'll go until about 7 p.m whereas harvest we usually go until 9 to 10 p.m or really until it gets dark because bad things happen in the dark like those were a little bit smaller of rocks but it seemed to have pushed them in well it is a little bit bumpy probably because the implement in the back is trying to push down all the rocks and going over them i've got it in the second gear right now which is rabbit um and i have it fully in that one and then the next one is snail and then this thumb part controls my speed so i'm going about 8.6 miles per hour this is a fairly flat field it looks like there is a coolie coming up so i suppose i'll have to i'll go through the coolie straight just like i would seeding but i'll also cut it out with the roller to make sure that any rocks in the coolies are pushed down as well and a coolie is just a natural draw in the field where water runs off i guess that's a term that's not used many other places another big rock there that didn't seem to get rolled down i hope we have a beautiful sunset tonight that would be very nice i don't know that i have a really good feeling for this tractor like i did when i was bailing using a tractor like this but i'm getting better at it so i'm hoping in maybe a couple more days i'll be right on the ball again so there is a little piece from doing my corner last time here i missed so i'm going to pick that up although there's not any rocks there and i'm probably going to miss a little bit here too Ooh, that was a little bumpy i'm not really slowing down for the corners anymore because i don't feel a need to i kind of have my system down lining up to where i hear I keep calling this harrowing. I'm not harrowing, I'm rolling. But harrowing was the last job I did on the farm, so I'm sure when the next job comes, I'll be calling it rolling because the minute I realize what I'm doing, I'm on to the next thing. Some big rocks there that just went down. So now I'm getting deeper into this coolie, and I'm going to actually turn my display here and watch to make sure the roller doesn't come off the ground. I'll be able to tell here. It can bend a little bit, so it might be okay. I'll just slow down a little bit because coolies are always hard on equipment. It looks like it made it through fine, so I won't have to come back for that part anyway. Seeding it doesn't. It pulls the top shanks out and leaves the bottom ones in, or the bottom shanks come out and the top are too deep, so it can be a little bit challenging when you're going through coolies, although it looks like the roller handled it perfectly fine. It's a lot harder to tell the line going this direction. There's quite a lot happening on my screen. I have all the hydraulics. It looks like my speed, transmission, what I'm in. Oh, okay, so it says speed here. So forward in first gear goes to eight miles an hour. Forward in second gear, um, I'm not, it probably goes a lot faster than that. I'm going 8.8 .8 right now. I'm going to slow down a little bit and start my turn. I probably could start my turn a little bit earlier in order to fully get these corners. I'm lined up again. Guidance is definitely not a necessity, but it is a luxury. It really doesn't look like it's been rolled right here, so I probably need to come in a little bit. This is why my rolling lines are all messed up, because I'm like, oh gosh, this doesn't look like it's been rolled, and then I go this direction. I'm also looking forward to seeding this year, but I'm not capable yet anyway of doing edge passes on the field and going around power lines, so I can really only do the inside. Back through the coolie again. Everything was rolled there. My roller did not back up this time, which is great. I'm gonna find kind of the area that I haven't rolled yet and go back to it. I don't know, it kind of looks like I maybe have rolled this. Now I'm going to increase my speed again. 
I just got out of the tractor, so we are done for the day. Darcy's still doing a little bit more seeding, but I'll be back in the roller tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to learn a little bit more about how your food gets to your table. You can also follow Kate's Egg on Instagram, K-A-T-E-S underscore A-G, and on TikTok, Pinterest, and Facebook. And if you'd like to, you can go to the Kate's Egg website to purchase a Kate's Egg tote bag, which I have right here. They're 100% made in the USA, and this is a blue wheat design of a photo of wheat taken at our farm during harvest time. Thank you again for watching. Bye!